Greetings everyone! Continuing our harvest crafting guides for the Ray Spectre Necromancer build, today we will be looking at this helmet I recently made and the exact process I followed to create it. Before we begin, there are three key points that you need to keep in mind before attempting this craft. Number one, this is a very expensive item to craft. The base alone costs about five to six exalts and you need some expensive harvest crafts such as add remove influence in order to make this. So having a good amount of accumulated currency before starting this craft is recommended. I'd say about 25 exalts is a good amount and should net you a pretty decent helmet, depending on your luck. 2. The item will turn out more and more powerful the more currency you throw into it. That happens because there are layers of RNG involved in crafting this item. So the more you are willing to spend, the better this item will become. And 3. Note that my item is by no means perfect. It can be heavily improved by getting some higher tier rolls on some of the stats. However, I wanted to make this item for as cheap as possible so I could transition into it while crafting my own GG helmet. Also, this item, even when poorly rolled, it's still a pretty big upgrade from using Spectres on 6 link chest even when Awakened Gems are involved. So, with that out of the way, onto the crafting. The first step, as with any craft, is to identify the mods I want for the item. In this case, the mods are plus 2 or 3 to minion gems, gems supported by minion damage and hypothermia, spell crit chance, life, and I also wanted the 30% more elemental damage to socketed gems, which is an essence mod. Looking at all the mods on Craft of Exile, I could see that I would need a double influenced Shaper slash Elder Helmet in order to get Hypothermia, Socketed Spell Crit and Minion Damage. I also knew that this was to be used on a minion character, so I'd like a helmet that boosts minion damage. Lastly, I noticed that the plus 3 to minion gems is an eye level 86 mod, so my helmet had to be at least I level 86. To that end, I bought an I level 86 Elder Influenced Bone Helmet for about 100 chaos, and a Random Shaper Influenced Helmet for about 5 chaos. I then used an Awakener Orb to transfer the Shaper Influence over to my Bone Helmet, giving me a Shaper slash Elder Influenced Bone Helmet. Doing it this way was about 120 chaos cheaper than simply buying the double influence base outright. So I'd recommend checking the price of the individual bases before buying to see if you can save a bit of currency. Now that I had my base, the next thing I wanted to do was try and get my 30% more elemental damage essence mod and my plus 2 or plus 3 to minion gems mod. I chose these mods because they are the only mods that cannot be rolled with the help of harvest, so they must be present before any harvest crafts are made. To roll these mods, I found and used two methods which I will detail below. These, as far as I'm aware, are the most cost-effective ways of getting these mods on this item. The first method is through the use of fossils. I'd recommend using Glyphic, Bound and Prismatic. If you got the currency, you can also add Shattering into the mix to block out mana, though that will require the use of a 4 socket resonator. The goal here is to get plus 3 to minion gems, 30% socketed elemental damage, plus have the other mods of the item be easily removable through the use of harvest. Keep in mind that you can also use beast crafting to help you remove any unnecessary mods. The second method is through the use of essences and harvest mechanics. More specifically, spam essence of horror until you get suffixes that can be removed through harvest. Afterwards, remove one of the two unnecessary suffixes by using some remove harvest craft. Craft cannot roll caster modifiers from your bench. When all of the above steps are complete, simply use the reforged prefixes keep suffixes craft to try and roll plus 3 to minion gems. After talking to a bunch of people that crafted helmets like these, it seems that both of these methods are equally valuable in terms of both efficiency and cost, so use whichever you prefer or even a combination of the two. Personally, I finally got my helmet via the use of fossil crafting and beast crafting with the latter be used to remove trash prefixes from my item after the plus 2 to minion gems and the L damage was rolled. In summary, if you're crafting along, you want your item to look something like this before moving on. Now that we've reached this point, we want to try and craft the minion damage. To do that, 
We first need to craft cannot roll caster modifiers as a suffix, so if you haven't done that in the previous step, go ahead and do it now. Afterwards, you want to make sure that the only two prefixes present are the plus two minion gems and a second easily removable prefix. If your item has more prefixes, remove them by using harvest crafts and the methods mentioned above. Lastly, you want to ensure that none of the item suffixes are elder or shaper type. If any elder or shaper suffixes are present, simply remove them by using remove influence or other harvest crafts when applicable. With the open prefix plus the can't roll caster modifiers crafted, the next thing we want to do is use the augment influence seed craft to try and get plus minion damage support. This has a 1 in 6 chance to roll and a 1 in 3 chance for that roll to be tier 1. You want to repeat this until you get the tier of your choice. Keep in mind that this is a very expensive step, so if you are running low on currency you might need to sell for something other than tier 1. With those facts in mind, it should be noted that the difference between tiers is about 3% overall damage, so if you are willing to put in the currency, there will be a significant difference in DPS. In my case, I got a tier 3 minion damage support, which I ended up keeping since I was really low on currency at the time. Your item after this step should look like this. The next step of the craft is the hypothermia. To get that, remove the cannot roll caster modifiers plus the second suffix from your item, leaving only the plus two elemental damage. Afterwards, augment cold twice. If all prefixes are full, this will always roll cold resistance and hypothermia. Lastly, use remove cold to remove a random cold suffix from the item. This has a 50-50 chance of removing the cold resist, leaving you with a hypothermia. Repeat this step as many times as you want to get your desired tier of hypothermia. I got tier 2 after about 4 or 5 attempts, which I ended up keeping. Your item is now almost complete and should look like this. The final two steps are the spell crit plus the life. In order to craft the spell crit, first you want to block out all prefixes on the item by using your bends. Afterwards, use augment caster. That craft can now only roll 1-3% to spell crit chance. If you get a bad tier, simply use remove plus add caster to re-roll. The same principles can be used for the life mod. Simply block suffixes, augment life and remove plus add until you get the tier of your choice. You can also use your bends to craft life if you don't feel like rolling. And that's it, your minion helmet is complete. Depending on your luck and currency spent, your helmet is now worth anywhere between 25 to 50 exalts, with an average cost for a decent helmet being about 10 exalts with a base costing another 5. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you want to see this craft done live, I will be trying to create a mirror tier version of this item live on Twitch over the next week, so be sure to tune in for that. Also. Be sure to follow me on Twitter in order to be notified for when I'm going live. Thanks for watching and have a great day.